The hotel worker in Puerto Princesa also told us that the first thing that you should do when you get to El Nido is book your tours. There are just some new regulations that it's best to do it the day before. All the blogs on, that we've read online say to do either tour A or tour C. There's a little bit of variation. They take you to some different islands. So we're just gonna go into town right now and weigh our options. Tour A, which with the fees is 1600 The other thing that we found out is you can't take plastic water bottles on the boat, but that means we would be going eight hours without water. So we have a small plastic one that we're gonna hide in Taylor's new toy. Tay, show them what you bought last night for $4. A dry bag. Those are like 40 bucks at home. They're so expensive at home. That was four dollars here. That's kind of ridiculous. I don't know that it'll work very well, but who cares? And then from there, um, at 9 a.m., it's currently 8:30. We're gonna go to the tour office, and then they take you out to these little tiny boats right here, which is why you need a dry bag because you're definitely gonna get wet. <laughs> it's not that. Cold, but it's also not as warm as you would think the Philippines would be. Also, yeah. it is winter, so I guess there's that. <laughs> Okay, so in order to get to the big lagoon, you have to swim or kayak. If you kayak, you have to pay an additional 250 pesos. If you swim, you have to wear a life jacket. It's right around the corner. So we're gonna try this out. through this tunnel into the big lagoon. This is a long swim. Uh -huh. Oh, it's a kilometer to swim. Okay, that's why people rent the kayaks, but this is way better. That's very <laughs> <laughs> That is a good question. How is this place? Real. Even real. <laughs> now it is shallow enough that we can walk. It's more of like a trail. And the visibility, you can just the water. <laughs> oh my gosh. And here's your view. Another thing that makes us feel so much different than all of the other places in the Southeast Asia that we've been is it's not hot here. No, it's like an awesome temperature. But even the water is much cooler than preparation. Yeah, it's not hot, it's not humid. The water is probably warmer than the air. I think it is. I like that. <laughs> Ah, uh, this is dreamy. <laughs> so number one, they say at the beginning that you have to have 
good water shoes for this, and everyone's wearing flip flops, and they're like, nah, it's fine. And we thought, oh, it's probably fine. You do. You absolutely need good water shoes for this. It is just, you're walking through coral. Yeah. Number two, this is the clearest water I've ever seen in my life. It's like a glass of water. <laughs> Look at the darkness of the blue coming up. Oh my gosh. And now it's deep again. Yeah. And warm. Is this the big lagoon right where we are? So ugly. <laughs> okay. It's been kind of a pain in the butt to get to the Philippines, not gonna lie. This is all worth it. <laughs> All worth it. All right, time to go back. I don't want to. All right, on to the next one. Couldn't have gotten better weather. Lunch was awesome. I'm Com so full. Compared to tours of this type, that's the best Lunch, yeah. variety of food I've ever had. And we've been on a gazillion of these. Yeah. It was like in USD, like $32 with the additional um, environmental fee and then the fee to get into the big lagoon. So the next tour that we do will be a little bit cheaper because one, we'll have already paid for the environmental fee for the week, and then two, we won't be going back to the Big Lagoon. It's also a little bit cheaper than all the other ones we've done. Yeah, it's really good for what you get. It's some of the best snorkeling I've ever seen. We've been blessed with some pretty good snorkel spots, but this is way up there on the list. Yeah. Mmm. Love it. <laughs>